Here we are again, baby. Here we are again. Puff Stadium. Back where it all began. The Lambo. Lambo looking really, really good. Let's get in here. Let's get a little bit closer to this beautiful, beautiful stadium. Whoo! Yes, yes, yes. Tacos, merchandise, registration. Remember to like and subscribe, baby. Let's keep going. Whoo hoo hoo! Up the stairs into the stadium. Yes, yes, we are here. Let's get inside. Let me get to this video, this original video of an original team. I can't wait to talk about this team. It is from the very first season. It is from the beginning of GBL. It is one of my absolute favorites, my most used Great League team. It was posted on King IV's channel as well. And let's talk about it. Alolan Raichu, Hitmon Top, and Wigglytuff. It's actually a budget team. You can make this team for less than 50 grand. Two of them. One's a hatch Pokemon, one's a raid Pokemon. Both of them take less than 20, 30k to level up. Uh, less than 20k. And then a Wigglytuff, you can catch it level, evolve, and add a second move for 10k. So you essentially have a 10k Pokemon. Two po all three Pokemon are 10k for a second move. And then you also have the ability to get them from an uh, egg in a raid, evolve them. So if you're new and you want to try it out, this is a great team to try to run with. So let's get into a few games here. We're going to have a tough first lead here. But one big thing about this Alolan Raichu is it's going to be pretty... Uh, you're going to learn how to count pretty quickly. The Volt Switches run through they go pretty long so you can kind of gauge those to guess what the other person's move is going to be we lose the lead here but we swap on the move correctly and the what the wigglytuff does in these games is that wigglytuff is going to draw out this the steel on the other side in season one it was uh registeel earlier this season it was galarian stunfisk so uh either way you're going to get something that hit on top or Raichu can come in and shield and farm usually. So that is the goal of the swap. And we achieved it here. We're able to shield the Sky Attack, farm the Skarmory all the way down. And we're going to be able to unleash the energy on the Obstagooner. Assuming the, the Goon is going to come back onto the playing field. And very exciting. Just a side note while this battle continues. We just hit 1,100 subscribers. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, 1,100 followers on Twitter. So thank you so much for the love on Twitter. If you're not following me there, uh, check it out. Uh, it's same handle above. And also, we are just about to 3,000 followers on Twitch. So very, very exciting there. Thank you, everybody who has supported. I know we're just getting into the YouTube game, but I have been on Twitch for almost 18 months now streaming live content. So again, here's another example of a very bad lead with this team. And watch what happens here again. We're going to go one volt switch. Two, swap. We get out of there. We make sure to get out of there after one. We pause. We get the mud bomb here onto the Wigglytuff. And the opponent making a weird play here by keeping their Whizcash on the playing field, which just makes me think they're either, they're probably thinking that they have something in the back really good against it or they're really weak to charm. So. Usually you would see the Whizcash swap out in these situations, but every game is different. So, I would really recommend this team as well. I wouldn't change the order of it. Keep the Alolan Raichu in front. You can you can also run Volt Switch, um, uh, Volt Switch, Wild Charge, Grass Knot if you want. I've also I've literally ran Volt Switch, Wild Charge, Grass Knot. I've ran Volt Switch, Thunder Punch, Wild Charge. I've ran Volt Switch, uh, Thunder Punch, Psychic. You can really run what I would just run whatever is best in the meta. And right now, I think Thunder Punch and Grass Knot for me are what I'm rolling with for the spam ability. The goal of the Raichu is to get shields, not to KO people. The job for the Hitmon top is to KO the Pokemon in the back with a shield. So um, that is what this team is supposed to do. So here we go, putting more pressure here on the Skarmory. Really not expecting him to shield here. And he does. So. Fully expecting Azumarill to be in the back at this point. He, he could have swapped out earlier into his Skarmory, but either way, he would have ended up with either the Skarmory on the Azumarill 
or I'm sorry, either the Skarmory on the Raichu or the Azumarill on the Raichu. And you can tell he has the Azumarill on the back by how he's playing. So this is also what I was saying during the stream. And believe it or not, Hitmon Hitmontop actually wins this one shield matchup. So we're going to be able to throw the Stone Edge with the little bit of extra energy we have here. Um, we're going to be able to double Stone Edge. And it, it turns out to be a great game in the end i must say uh so a couple of tough leads there but this team is really really forgiving uh it's got some a lot of damage there from counter from charm uh, i'm sorry from counter and charm and volt switch there's just so so much damage that the team is putting out so give it a try let me know what you think and remember until next time no matter what you do, no matter where you go, guys, just keep on tapping. Uh, it will be another video soon with some mini cup in it. If you want to see anything specific, if you want to see me use specific Pokemon on stream, post a quick video on it with one or two battles, put a comment down below. Uh, if somebody comments on a Pokemon, I'll use it. Um, I also did some battles with Sir Fetch, so we've got some Sir Fetch videos coming soon. Um, so looking forward to that. And uh, yeah. Until next time, thanks for watching. <laughs>